Hi, welcome to a GIMP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn very important tool which is stamping tool. So how to use stamping tool. Um, so if you have opened any image and you want to hide certain elements of the image uh, in such a way that uh, it's not uh, recognized very easily that uh, that object was there originally. So like we have two uh, persons standing in front of this uh, monument and uh, we now want to remove them so that we can have the view of the monument so how to remove that so first of all we have to open the image and then you have to uh, go to left side and uh, click on clone tool so stamping tool is also known as clone tool so click on it and then uh, just press control or you have to just use or just hover it and you, it will tell you about um, if you want to press um, shift key or control key because we are using uh, Mac uh, and uh, it has command you have to uh, uh, press the command key and then you have to uh, take the reference so by uh, pressing the command key you are taking the reference on the either side and then just start um, and then just release the key the command key and then just try uh, just uh, keep on pressing your the the left button of the mouse and you will see that the left most portion or the or the reference point is now being copied in the right side likewise take reference point near this place and now just keep on tapping it so you will see that we are now removing it also uh, you can take the reference point just in the right side and then just tap it again and taking reference from the left side just tapping it again um, for the for the uh, for this portion you have to take the reference point towards right and just keep on tapping and likewise in the right uh, in the right side for the second stair just press it Uh, yeah, again taking the reference point. If you don't want to tap it, you can just continue uh, pressing the key while uh, shifting towards either left or right and take reference point from the left side and uh, So why is this hand appearing over here? So um, suppose you have taken the reference point of this particular location, then it will um, take a note of left and right side as well. So it will have that in, in memory. So if you will tap that over here, then either direct, either side uh, will be there in the memory. So it will keep on appearing. So it's better to limit uh, the moving part and I will make it clear in uh, in a few seconds so first of so right now we are taking reference and we are just completing it um, suppose we have this person and we are taking reference of this particular location so if we will move the cursor um, towards right while pressing the left key then what ha will happen is that person will appear over here now if you will take reference point of this location so it has got um, this particular location and this particular location in its memory now it depends on the movement of the cursor um, which part it wants to uh, fetch from the memory so if we will 
uh, click and uh, move towards right then the staircase will appear oh sorry yeah now the staircase will appear and the person will appear as well but if you will press it and move towards left then what will happen is that person will appear on the left side so th this particular portion is from this particular location and this is coming from here so it keeps in the memory and depending on the direction it uh, shows you or it uh, brings it and you know just paste it over there so going back again uh, so all we need to do is just uh, take the reference point of this particular location we are taking this location because this is pretty uh, long towards left side so it will help us in doing this in one stretch so all we need to do is just tap once and just keep on pressing it and keep on moving towards left and just to give it f uh, some clarity, uh, we are just taking the reference point again and we are m moving towards left. Now this will be very easy, just uh, click over here and this particular location will be removed. Now we have tapped thrice and just take the, uh, the reference point of this location and then just give it a try and move it towards left now we can see that the, those two people the persons are not here now and uh, it doesn't really seems uh, seem like there were people over there so this is how we use the clone tool or stamping tool in GIMP so you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars for Photoshop you can do it for free in, in GIMP which is a open free open source software thank you for watching the tutorial